Hello everyone! Welcome to tech to tinker My name is George and in this video, we will talk about the buzzer module with ESP32 using MicroPython. What I have here is a buzzer module included in Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. It has three pins, namely G for the ground pin, V for the supply voltage, and S for the signal pin. In order to follow this lesson, you will need an ESP32 development board, a Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield, a 3-pin female-to-female DuPont jumper wires, and of course, the buzzer module itself. The buzzer module is basically an electrical device that converts electrical signal into an audible audio signal or a sound that we can hear. Typical uses of buzzer are in alarms, user audio feedback, or to provide some kind of melodies. In this lesson, we will use a pulse width modulated signal in controlling the buzzer. Later on, we will play some popular melodies with it. Now for the software part, I prepared here to example source code for this lesson. Now with example number one, let's explore the basics of controlling the buzzer module by clicking the run current script button, which will run these lines of code, which basically instantiate a PWM object named buzzer which is connected on GPIO 23 with the pin direction as an output. This line will initialize the buzzer PWM pin with a frequency of 0 and also a duty value of 0, which will configure the PWM pulse to op state. Now, here in number 1, we can set a frequency of 1047 which will play a C note at 6 octave. Let me copy this one and paste it in the repo and hit enter. Let me copy also this number 2, which is setting the duty value, which will result configuring the volume of the buzzer. Copy and paste. And let me hit enter. Now, to turn off the PWM pulse, we can set the duty value to 0. Now, if you want to, let's say, play the C note at 6 octave for 1000 milliseconds, we can do like this. I like this one and uncomment. Let me click the stop button first. And let me click save to save this our modification and click run current script. And as you can hear, it plays for 1000 milliseconds, then turn it off. Let me comment out again. Comment out. Now, if we want to play another note, let's say this musical note, let's say the second octave C, and comment this one, save, tap button, then play. Once more, sorry, we need to stop first, then play. Let me comment out it again. Let's say a high pitch C note at 8 octave. So, uncomment, save, stop, and play. And comment out again. And to totally disable the PWM, 
we can send buzzer that the init now let's go to example number two which will play a three melodies which are mario jingle bells and twinkle twinkle little star which is connected on gpio 23 same as before but this time i created a simple utility class to handle playing the melodies this utility class basically initialize a pwm object with a set signal pin which is connected on gpio 23 and provides this method in playing the set of notes which are passed through this melodies parameter which basically takes the note which is like this if c1 it's going to the frequency is 33 then set the duty value which is also pass here and wait for some time and after playing all it will turn off the pulse by setting the duty value to zero and these are the set of notes and its equivalent frequency so 1047 here is equivalent to C6. So let's go here. So the Mario, the list of notes are here. So it will give the E7, E7, and 0 means 0 denotes rest notes or a frequency of 0. Same as for the jingle bells and also for the twinkle twinkle little star here we play the mario or we play the mario melodies with a duty value of 512 maximum volume and this is 150 milliseconds in between the notes same for jingle bells and twinkle twinkle with only a difference in the delay in between playing its notes let me click the stop button first to terminate example number one and click the run button to execute example number two and let's hear playing all these three melodies Now playing the Mario. Now the jingle bells. Lastly, the twinkle twinkle little star. So that's pretty much of it. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here, including other information, can be found in the companion blog post for this video at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any question, please write your message in the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless!